So let's take a look at this team fight really quick, you guys. Team Freedom, smoked up, looking to engage the Complexity team while they're taking a shrine back here. Banana Slam Jamma, favoring that poor man's shield over the Shadow Amulet. So they're going to charge forward. Ion Shell comes out, and that's how Sentry Ward comes down. All right. And then IX Mike is going to make a big play right here, okay? He's going to go in, blinks forward, gets the vacuum, wall of replica on cooldown, invoker back here is in position, doom is ready to come in, doom's on cooldown, okay? Juggernaut ulti on cooldown. This is a power play, you guys. They're, they're making this statement right here. They're saying we don't need cooldowns to fight you guys. Invoker in position. Alright, so we got a nice four-man vacuum. Let's unpause the game. Invoker attacks a ward and then gets a nice, beautiful follow-up onto the enemy team. Gets a nice one-man tornado off the four-man vacuum. Nice little follow-up right there. Okay, and let's see. We got BSJ isolating the big threats on the enemy team back here. Okay, going for the big players. Alright, we can't let Oracle run loose. Shit's going on back there, but Bishay is the star of this team. So we're going to see what he does. He's going to let him go. He's going to summon a healing ward. Alright. Invoker. Working on the creeps back here during the team fight. That's a good play. The healing ward is going to come out. He's going to actually send it into the enemy team as a diversion. Okay, nice little play right there. Coddle. Doing something. And let's see what BSJ is doing down here. He's tussling with the Underlord. He's going to come in. And he's going to engage the Shadow Fiend. Alright, this is just an intimidation factor. He knows that he can't actually fight him. So he's just going to walk up. Engage him. And then he's going to tactically die on his way out. Securing that team fight for his team.